What's going on, fam? It's the Innocent Motivate Educator Lucky Murray back with another Gamecock News update. Today, I want to quickly talk about the NIL bill that just passed in the state of South Carolina. That is a non athletic licensing. No, it's the non athletic work product or activity related to a business or situation like that. Before I go any further, man, quick, quick video. Hit the video with a subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell and also hit the like button. The NIL bill, which is uh, a bill that is going across the country, is a bill that is allowing student athletes at colleges to make money off their likeness. So games like NCAA football uh, or EA football, the college football series is coming back, and they can actually play the players to participate in the games. Uh, activities such as the school selling jerseys with the numbers on the back of them, with the names in the front, uh, YouTube opportunities, uh, any activity uh, that can allow the, 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 the student athlete can then use his name and likeness to make money. So if let's say a used car dealership want to pay them to sponsor a couple of car videos, they can pay them. It has to be off campus. It has to be uh, doing non-athletic, academic, or different activities. And the school cannot help the student athlete to get these opportunities. They got to come within themselves. Uh, so what do I think about this, man? I think this is one step for really compensating these guys uh, to make uh, a little bit of money in their pocket. This is a full-time job. There's no way possibility that a scholarship uh, will equate to the amount of money that they make in the university. See, a scholarship is a lot of money, but that's determined by the school, not by society. Schools every year goes up 5 or 10% to support, you know, million-dollar stadiums, to give coaches million-dollar contracts, uh, to have their uh, uh, assisting uh, making you know six figure salaries. I know they put in a lot of work, but they get well compensated for that. And to have these players have the ability to do the same thing, um, you know, the YouTube channels, uh, the different things like that, they can monetize them. They can actually make a good li living in college. And a lot of these players, if they're smart and savvy, um, can, well, are not going to the NFL, but can build a brand basic off of their time in college. So in South Carolina, what, what, if, if people gonna cheese it, absolutely. People are going to cheese the system like never before. There's going to be uh, boosters uh, making up fake money, giving them fake opportunities. It, it's going to be a wild west out here for a while. Um, but I do like the fact that it's taking the colleges out of trying to pay these players because there's no way to determine how much you pay these players. Football makes more than basketball. It, it's no way, you know, like a school like Presbyterian won't be able to recruit because it won't be able to pay a certain player. So I don't think of the payment necessarily. I do think that you need to increase their siphon and I also give them the opportunity to make money off of their name and likeness. So here's what I need you to do. Please write down, what do you think the NIL law states? Uh, are you in agreement? Yes or no? Please write in the comment section below. Also, do you think that we should be paying players? You know, uh, my team, the South Carolina Gamecocks, um, I do think these players need to be compensated, especially when they're trying to go to a 12 game playoff, a 12 team playoff, and they're trying to add almost 17 games to a college schedule. What about school? They don't care about that. It's a capitalism world. Money makes, you know, if you can make money, it can sell. So let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Again, it's an entertaining motivator to educate Lucky Murray. Back with another game, Cotton News update. Quick, 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 quick video. The NIL law has passed. Uh, players next year, not this year, July 1st of next year, can start making money off their name and likeness at South Carolina. I think this is going to be a federal bill eventually but let me know what you think about the comment section below but like always it's the next time people